Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Don't be that cano. Uh, how do I explain this? In the Philippines, there's already a stereotype of an expat. An expat shouts, an expat's drunk, an expat womanizes. Um, a lot of these expat stereotypes come from a lot of the ex-military and uh, naval uh, visitors to the islands. Um, so what you've got is the expectation that if you aren't happy with some service, you'll be loud mouthed and pretty much a low life. Um, uh, I don't like the stereotype. Uh, I'm not being funny. But if you're aware these stereotypes exist, um, I prefer people to think about what they're doing so that they can actually change the way they do things. Because um, I know sometimes people get irate with things, but at the end of the day, it's not gonna make the problem go away. It's not gonna make it any more easy. Um, I'll give you an example. Globe, Globe internet is dire. Um, services dire uh, whether it's for the repairs or internet speeds everything's the service is just terrible so you can get on the phone and yell 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 what is the point because the person on the end of the line has no power over changing that um, they just read from a script um, they're pretty much robotic on everything um, it's been set up that way you'll see in shops where they'll put somebody on the counter and the owner or manager sitting in the back going no forget it i'm not paying it or whatever when you try to return stuff that is the business owners they create a um, gatekeeper now it's not fair on that person who's at the counter getting shouted at all day because the problem is they're in a position where they're in need of that job so it's a bit um, unfair that they take the, the flag when they've got no control over it. The, you know they've got no control over it. I know they've got no control over it. Um, and we may feel better shouting at them or whatever, but it's not fixing the problem. Um, the people that own the malls or whatever, they're so disconnected from it and they set this whole system up so that they don't have to deal with irate customers when they sell them tap. Um, so understand that you know if you're not happy with the service put it across in a good way the other side of it being it could be that the person you're shouting at is the mayor the mayor's son or whatever um that could be quite a difficult person to deal with um when filipinos are scared of some of these people then you should be cautious about who you're dealing with um, but the whole point of this exercise is not about fear, it's about um, how to deal with people. I was talking to somebody two days ago actually, they're on about a Norwegian guy um, that messed around with somebody's stereo turning it off. The whole community got together and voted the guy out of the town. <laughs> you know, they actually had, the guy had to move. Things like that happen because you've got to remember you're in their world, you're in the Philippines country and to change things takes a bit of time it takes a bit of manipulation it takes a bit of explaining why this is not right play music at three four in the morning and you say look come on i i work online at night i can't hear because of the the noise any chance you can switch it off at 10 or something people will listen to that normally unless they're a complete you know what because the problem with those people is they're normally spoiled brats, the ones that you, you'll you struggle to manipulate. And as I said before in another video, you try and get their mother to deal with them because um, that normally works. <laughs> Doesn't matter if they're an adult or not, there's the peer pressure which can work, which is why um, that sometimes works pretty well. But don't go yelling in a restaurant, don't create a scene where you go because people expect that. And I am. Um, it's like me being on the train got, coming from London. Uh, I got to Birmingham twice and they're, well, well yeah, they're both in words. I think these guys are university alleged students. Uh, I say alleged because they seem complete muppets, but they're 
uh, twice it's been two uh, two colored males um, from Jamaican descent should we say or African descent uh, trying to be politically correct here that acted complete knobs on the uh, train they're um, loud they're in the quiet carriage go sit in the quiet carriage because basically I'm working or I'll, I'll sleep because then when I sleep I go to work after you know when I sleep on the train then I work all day get back on the train sleep then I'll do some work when I get home you know because if I'm on a three-hour journey I might as well nap and you got these guys shouting and doing an Eddie Murphy eh, 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 eh. and like you're, you're just thinking you fit your stereotype so well well done you know you're loud you're stupid um, and yeah you're telling everybody that all those people that complain that people uh, black people aren't like that you're telling them they're right um, not the the ones that say they aren't but the ones that say but you are because you're actually acting exactly why um, people hate you you know and I'm, I'm not racist by the way but you, you get the point that this whole um, scenario is caused by themselves because it reinforces the fact that they're idiots and they, they do the Eddie Murphy uh, 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 look at me look at me I've got to shout I'm on the train look I'm on the train walking up and down the car you're just thinking you're complete whatever but this happened twice with two different uh, guys from African descent um, near the same station so you're like there's something wrong you know because this isn't normal behavior but stereotypically it is stereotypically it's, it's people that don't care about the environment they're in um, these carriages are reserved for quiet because these people are working sleeping because you're not supposed to use mobile phones in them for example so you've got Eddie Murphy and his friend walking up and down being complete whatever I think it's funny but yeah so the point is be aware that sort of thing goes on if you're a foreigner in the Philippines they're expecting you to shout rant womanize drunk um, what else is there I think that's the main three things so but there's nothing nothing wrong with having a drink it's just keep it within moderation um, it's, well yeah the other thing is getting the fights in trouble but just contain everything you know be aware that you're in a surrounding and you don't want to be that stereotype um, it's no good for you it's not good for me it's not good for the whole expat community um, and also it's just uncivilized sorry I have a drink now and again but I'm when I say about the <laughs> I'm talking about the guy that staggers up the road every every day because he's been dropped off at the pub at 10 a.m. and he's sat there all day before stumbling back um, to his residence. Who <laughs> they fit the stereotype so well, but obviously these people are also the most aggressive people. When you say you're so stereotypical, to say that they don't fit that stereotype, yeah, they're doing exactly um, what people expect. Alright, thanks for watching.